the distinguished representative of Japan for his statement. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Ghana. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for giving me the floor. My delegation thanks the Secretary General for the excellent reports on this agenda item and commends the Special Advisor on Africa and her team for the successful launch of the Africa Dialogue Series and for facilitating the rich exchange of views on the critical issues of concern to Africa in the past two days. Ghana aligns herself with the statements delivered by Morocco and Egypt on behalf of the African group and the group of 77 and China, respectively. Africa's development priorities have been clearly expressed in several continental and global landmark agreements. The most significant, Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, the strategic vision for transformative development in Africa and 10-year implementation plan, hold the promise to enhance inclusive economic and social progress. The agenda's emphasis on agriculture development, infrastructure development and industrialization will greatly facilitate job creation and poverty eradication on the continent. Equally transformational is the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which derives many of its goals and targets from Agenda 2063, and which together with the Addis Ababa Action Agenda on Financing for Development, provide a comprehensive framework for action in the spirit of global partnership and solidarity. My delegation is particularly pleased that in the past year, the African Union has concluded several major continental agreements, including the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, the Single Air Transport Market, and the Continent-Wide Protocol on the Free Movement of People, all of which are important pillars of Agenda 2063, and a signal of the collective resolve and determination of Africans to create the conditions necessary for the realization of the continental vision of socioeconomic transformation. Africa has demonstrated leadership in the development of the continent and is charting the continent's path to prosperity. The sense of enterprise, creativity, innovation, and hard work to engineer this transition is already in progress. And what is required is coherence and complementarity between global, continental, regional, national, and local efforts for effective implementation. My delegation welcomes in this regard the renewed efforts of the NEPAD agency to strengthen national and regional capacities to coordinate the implementation of the agendas. We also wish to underscore the important work of the African peer review mechanism in fostering good governance as an enabler of growth and sustainable development. Mr. Chair, the African Union United Nations Framework for the Implementation of Agenda 2063 and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted in January 2018 is a significant development. Similarly, the joint UN-AU Framework for Enhanced Partnership in Peace and Security will inure to sustaining peace as an important prerequisite for sustainable development. We urge continued collaboration in the implementation of strategies and programs for a comprehensive development of Africa. As rightly indicated in the Secretary General's NEPAD report, global economic conditions have a considerable bearing on the performance of African economies and consequently the pace of progress in the implementation of the agendas. Building resilience will be necessary to sustaining our efforts. Financing is a critical element for the achievement of development. As African countries redouble their efforts to mobilize domestic resources, we call on partners fulfill, to fulfill their ODA commitments to complement these efforts. We also call for urgent international action to help 
curb illicit financial flows from Africa. We take note that as FDI flows to Africa continue their downward trend, Africa's new and emerging development partners made significant commitments in terms of FDI and other support, ranging from trade in natural resources to agriculture and construction. We welcome these partnerships. Together with the launch of the G20 Africa Partnership in July 2017, and hope that cooperation with the continent will be strengthened with Agenda 2063 as the guiding framework. While commending our partners for these tangible contributions, we reaffirm the importance of the role of the private sector, as well as the role of public-private partnerships in meeting the challenges of sustainable development. Mr. Chair, both the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the African Union Agenda 2063 recognize the importance of peace and stability, not only as critical enablers, but also as important components of sustainable development. In line with this aspiration, Africa has also continued with the support of the United Nations and development partners to deal with current conflicts address emerging challenges to peace, security, and development, such as the rise of terrorism and violent extremism, as well as the growing number of migrants, refugees, and internally displaced persons. We reaffirm that sustaining peace is particularly poignant in Africa, and the mutually reinforcing and interlinked pillars of peace, security, development, and human rights must be reinforced to find lasting solutions to conflicts on the African continent. Tackling the root causes of conflicts such as youth unemployment, inequality, and economic and social exclusion, including through the African peace and security architecture and the African governance architecture will be critical to Africa's transformation. The role of women in sustainable development cannot be overestimated. Equally important is their indispensable role in peace building and sustaining peace. For this reason, Ghana welcomes the collaboration between the UN and the AU to enhance women's political leadership and participation in conflict prevention, resolution, and peace building through the support given to the Africa Women Leaders Network. Deliberate and targeted policies must be made by governments to seek ways to promote inclusive participation of the youth in development. The continent is a youthful one. This makes it imperative to meaningfully include the youth in Africa's efforts if we mean to achieve the goals and targets of Agenda 2063 as well as the 2030 Agenda. I thank you, Mr. Chair, for your attention. I thank the distinguished representative of Ghana for her statement.